interested in in high school. Very devastating, but I don't know. I just found inspiration by the people who survived and some people that didn't, like Anne Frank. The next one is The Perks of Being a Wildflower by Stephen Kabowski. Um, this, movie, this book was also made to a movie, which was great. The book was great as well. The back says, Standing on the Bridges of Life offers a unique perspective, but there comes a time to see what it looks like from the dance floor. The Perks of Being a Wildflower is a story about what it's like to travel that strange course through the uncharted territory of high school, the world of first dates, family dramas, and new friends of sex, drugs, and the Rocky Horror Picture Show of those wild and poignant roller coaster days known as growing up. I love Charlie, which is that character right there. I think he should just, I think everybody's felt like him at some time in their lives because high school was a very, very tough place. But yeah, I really enjoy this. I might read it again, actually. And the last one is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. Wonder what happened there, but anyways. Um, this is my favorite book of all time, and it's the 20th anniversary edition. It's, it's pendant and everything, but the back says California Gold Country 1850, a time when men sold their souls for a bag of gold, and women sold their bodies for a place to sleep. Angel expects nothing from men but betrayal. Sold into prostitution as a child, she survives by keeping her hatred alive. And what she hates most are the men who use her, leaving her empty and dead inside. Then she meets Michael Jose, a man who seeks his father's sorrow in everything. Michael obeys God's call to marry Angel to love her unconditionally, slowly, but day by day. He divides Angel's every fear expectation until despite her resistance, her frozen heart begins to thaw. But with her unexpected softening comes overwhelming feelings of unworthiness and fear, and so Angel runs back to the darkness, away from my husband's pursuing love. Terrified of the truth she no longer can deny, her final healing must come from the one who loves 
Tuesday morning series and um, probably a few others I can't remember right now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs>